He noticed that both rows were the same problem, but that it was the commutative property. That's very good. That's actually where I was going to go with it, so he did it for me. It's a commutative property. Um, and we, right, and I was just going to say, there is commutative property of addition, and there's also commutative property of multiplication, and that's what this is. Kudos to your third grade teachers <laughs> for making sure that you guys know what that is. Commutative property, and what does that commutative property tell us? I know Mike and Dan know. What does that commutative property of multiplication tell us that we've shown here? Monet? Okay, if you're still using the same factors, you still end up with the same product. So in this case, the factors are 3 and 8. It doesn't matter what order you put them. It could, the 8 could be first. As long as the factors are the same, the product is the same. Here's another way of showing it in bar models. So you could have 5 looks like this, and you can have 3 of them. And that would equal 15. Or you can have three looking like this, and you can have one, two, three, four, five of them <coughs> equals 15. So it's just showing that there's different ways to represent it. So this on the bottom is just showing you what a rep how we're going to represent three. I can see why that's a little confusing. Okay, so Carly has nine pennies. Jack has four times as many pennies. How many pennies does Carly have? So we're going to look at Carly. How many pennies does Carly have? Nine. She has nine pennies. So this is what nine is going to look like. That's Carly, and that's what nine is going to look like. And Jack has four times as many. So what do you think I'm going to put in all four of these boxes? Raise your quiet hand. What do you think I'm doing? Nines. What, did we, what are we comparing here when we're looking at these? Who are we comparing? Ian? Carly and Jake. Jar Carly and Jake. Yeah. Jack. And they're how much money, right? How many pennies, I think it was. How many pennies they have. So if we use this model here, we're looking for this N. <coughs> we want to know what this number is. So we want to find out what this N is. To find the N, we're going to take Carly's amount, and we're going to multiply by how many? Four. Four. So N equals, anybody figure, Bella figured it out? What did you get, Bella? 36. 36. So Jack has how many pennies? 36. 36. Miguel has six, which is three times as many as Sarah. Sorry, I misspoke the three there. Okay? So we already know Miguel has six rabbits. We know that those six are three times as many as Sarah. Did you decide that Sarah is going to have less or more than Miguel? Less. We decided less. Miguel has a total of six. And that's three times what Sarah has. Do you see that they've split that into boxes? Yes. How many boxes? Three. Three. So we have to decide, I need to pick a number that's going to go in each one of those boxes that's going to total six. And what number am I going to put in those boxes, class? Two. Two. Three. Two. Okay, let's try three. I have three. Three, six, nine. Does that work? No. No, Rashawn wants to try two. And I know a lot of you wanted to try two. Two, four, six. Does that work? Yes. Yeah. So then now I can say, here's how many Sarah has. So 21 is seven times as many as three. 21 is seven times as many as three. Eight times five equals 40. So eight times as many as five is 40. Six times as many, six times as many as two is 12. What is the product here? What is the, uh, the answer? Nicole. 12 is the answer. So this whole amount here is going to be 12. And these are six boxes. Okay? There's six boxes. So this is 
12 is the answer or the product, which is 6 times as many as 2. So if these are my 6 boxes, what number is going to go in there? 2. two. <coughs> What's going to go in this box? 6. 2. 2. Remember, the boxes are the same. So this was, here's a 2, and this is 6 times as many as 2. So my total was 12. So my multiplication problem will be 6 times 2 equals 12, or 2 times 6. I really don't care what order you write it in.